How do I tell my unborn children that since 2017 to 2024, I've been on YouTube and this is the number of subscribers that I have, like this. This is the number of subscribers that I have and here are the number of videos that I have. It means in a nutshell that the, both the subscribers and the number of videos are competing against each other. <laughs> they are running against each other trying to know who will be the first to get there. I don't know where they are going to anyways. But what I'm trying to say here is this. Um, I think I've, I've come a long way and by now I'm supposed to be get I'm supposed to be paid. You know, by now I'm supposed to start receiving remuneration from YouTube. But it happens to be that that is not coming forward. And in fact, it's 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 like I've not even reached anywhere. Even my watch hours currently as at as at this morning it's around uh uh eight eight nine, yeah, it's eight hundred and eight hundred and eighty nine. It means that I've, 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 I've really I've really done a lot of bad things on that channel that I, I need to work on. I really need to work on that. Thing. So I recently understood that I've been the reason I have been the reason why my channel is facing the problem it is facing today. Now let me explain better. I've, I think because I decided to taste different kind of food, because I decided to taste different kind of food. That is why I'm facing that problem today. Different kind of food I mean is this. I have shot videos on comedy. I have uploaded videos on uh, dancing. I have uploaded videos on motivation. I have uploaded animal videos. I have uploaded game videos. I have uploaded... Uh, different kind of videos you know so at the end of the day i ended up instead of me getting to where i'm supposed to be i i ended up distracting the youtube algorithm and at the same time my audience so as it stands now with the number of audience that i have which is about 537 currently it means that I have people with different interests and because I have people with different interests that is why I'm finding it difficult to get my videos out there and that is why I'm also finding it difficult for any of my videos to rank or something so what am I trying to explain here I think I need to start afresh but that does not mean I'm going to wipe out all the videos that I have on my channel so I'm going to leave those videos there let them serve as uh, as a reminder to me that there was a time when I did not follow my passion and because of that it it was it was it was very difficult for me to think of getting to where I'm supposed to be. Please forgive the noise in my environment. I live in a public compound that is why you are hearing all the noise around so I'm deeply sorry okay please concentrate on the video that is what is more important try as much as possible to concentrate on this video okay so about passion i'm talking about about passion passion is something that you must have if you really want to excel on this platform i realized that i went ahead to create videos on content that i don't have passion for that is why my channel suffered what it suffered for the past seven years i created content on gaming I created content on uh, dancing and I love I love dancing okay kind of I love to see people dance but honestly I don't know how to dance and I don't have passion for dancing I just love people dancing I don't have passion for it about gaming I don't even have interest in gaming you come if you come to my phone now you can only see highest one game and that game is a rare match I downloaded it a few weeks ago and I decided to download that game for YouTube Okay, I downloaded that video for you. That game for you to open to start creating content from that game. But it happens to appear to me again that gaming is not my thing. Game is not my thing. So I finally came to realize that I'm this kind of a person that loves it when I advise people. I love it when I help in people's growth. This is something that took me years to find out. This is something that took me years to find out. 
just be creating content that I don't even have passion for. And of course, I'm sure that is one of the things that made my my channel to become a, a channel that even myself, I am not happy. I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with it. So you, on the other hand, should try as much as possible to learn how to create content around your passion. Avoid jumping from one trend to the other. Avoid jumping from one trend to the other. Because the moment you jump from one trend to the other, that time you begin to have problem with your channel. That is the problem I faced. That is the problem I faced and I'm trying to inform you about it so that you will pull yourself away from it. If you are a new person in the content creating world or maybe the YouTube world, try as much as possible to avoid jumping from one trend to the other you don't see like myself i did it i was like oh people are watching dancing very well okay let me go and dance I started dancing my channel was there i saw videos on game and i was like wow people are watching game ads play wow, wow 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 what are they even doing just to play game i went and downloaded games started playing games and of course my channel was there then I went through again, I saw that people started watching, people who love content that relates to sex and what have you, even though they don't completely show it to avoid YouTube, uh, YouTube problems. I started creating content that are sexually related and my channel is still there. So imagine jumping from one trend to the other simply because it had uh, views. So at the end of the day, I still came back to square one came back to square one because all these things are not things that I have passion for. I don't have passion for that. I have passion for advising people, giving people advice. Like when I see you going through a lot of things, so even though the fact that I'm not rich enough, I would always advise you to understand that this is not the end of the world. Okay? That this is not the end of the world, so you need to push through. You need to push for that. It's finally, I finally I came to realize that, and I, of course, I, that I know now that I'm not supposed to be jumping from these places like a bird jumping from one tree to the other, or like a monkey jumping from one tree to the other. I need to come back to my senses and realize that these places are not for me. I need to come back here. Yeah. So you have to create content on something you have passion for if you are if you are interested or if you have passion for comedy and you know you can create comic content for a long period of time then you go for it you start creating content around that if you are a good dancer you're good in dancing you can start creating content on dancing but always avoid copyright music to avoid pro having problem with youtube if you are good with gaming, you think gaming is your kind of thing, you go for gaming, you play your games and so on. And if you also think that teaching people a lot of things on how to drive, how to do a lot of things, yeah, you are welcome, you are 100% you welcome to do that. Okay, just make sure that whatever be the thing you are doing here on YouTube is something you have passion for. It's something you have passion for. Else, if you if if you start creating content that are off youtube trust me you definitely you will definitely be on the same pace where i am today you might end up having the 1000 subscribers but what happens if you have all these subscribers and each time you upload a video nobody is interested in seeing your video what is the need for that you uploaded a video and nobody is interested in the video is because you created content around people that are not for people that are not interested in it and you on the other hand is not interested in the content you created and people subscribe to you for a particular purpose if that purpose why they subscribe is no longer there then you have a problem you have a very big problem so in conclusion you should learn how to create videos based on your passion if you're passionate about something and that thing you have passion for should be something you should have you should know how to create you should be creating videos for rather i will see us in our next videos like i said i have dropped everything that has to do with creating content around uh, comedy creating content around uh, games creating content around dancing i'm now focused on helping 
others grow. It's from my previous experiences now. I can easily tell somebody this is not the right path to take. Try and do it this way. So, whether the YouTube algorithm start noticing my videos from now or anytime, no problems. But all I know is that I've identified my passion and I'm going in for it. I will follow it. I'll be seeing you in the next video. God bless you for coming around. Please do well to subscribe to this channel if you have not. And like if this video was helpful. Of course, share to the world.